Well, you might want to cover your ears, put the children in another room. This could be frightening and uh, not really suitable for everyone to listen to. Well, you'll have to cover the ears for another reason, because it's <laughs> going to be very cold outside tomorrow, Scott. We're talking temperatures that the coldest we've seen so far this winter season. Temperatures in the teens as high temperatures. Now, mind you, normally we hit a low temperature of 20 degrees around this time of year. We won't even hit 20, which is our average low tomorrow. I'm forecasting 18 for this backyard, and some of us won't even get out of the single digits. But want to share a photo from another one of our viewers. This is from Rod in Pittman in Schuylkill County. Scott, I'm bringing you back in on this picture because I think this is one of the most beautiful photos we've ever had sent into our, our station here. What do you think? Why is it that when the weather is the worst, the sunsets are the best? Why is that? I ask a meteorologist that question. I don't know. That one I don't have a scientific explanation for, but I just have to say that I'm grateful that we are able to see such beauty here in central and northeast Eastern Pennsylvania and Rod, thank you very much for sharing it with both me, Scott, and the rest of our viewers here on WNEP. Currently, temperatures are already dipping down into the teens, especially there in our northern tier. Take a look at that. Wellsboro, 18, Mansfield, 12, Ridgebury, 15. So we're already seeing traces of that Arctic air pushing into portions of our region, 16 in Morris. Still in the 20s for the rest of us, but the Poconos are dropping down to the teens to 19 in Lake Harmony. Take a look at the greater northeast. Negative 4 in North Bay, 3 in Messina, 13 in Syracuse, 14 in Buffalo. So you see these pinks and purples. They're going to be inching their way ever so slightly into our region tonight and then really filling in throughout the day tomorrow and the winds will fill in too because we have a wind shift to from the northwest that's going to usher in a lot colder air from Canada. Here are our current satellite and radar. You can see those snow flurries still existing there in central Pennsylvania, but likely that isn't accumulating. Today we got accumulations anywhere from one to three inches here in this backyard. We picked up two, but for the rest of us, we're just seeing mostly cloudy skies right now. If maybe just a few flakes still flying through the air in some of our locations, those will continue to turn off as we go through the evening hours. Tomorrow will remain mostly cloudy, but we could see a few lake effect enhanced snow showers. Now we're definitely going to see lake effect snow in New, uh, New York. That's going to stream off of Ontario and Erie, but we could see some of the them nip into portions of our central Pennsylvania uh, counties, including Clinton and center counties, and they could make their way down to Schuylkill County as well. Maybe a flurry or two. We're not talking any accumulations, just some flakes in the air. But the main story for tomorrow was be the cold and how cold it will be out there. Sunday, we'll see some sun break, especially through the afternoon. It'll start off mostly cloudy, then turn to mostly sunny but it'll still be cold on Sunday and still be breezy as well. Take a look at some of these winds. These are sustained winds, 4, 5, 10 o'clock in the morning, around 15 miles per hour. And then as we get to the afternoon, 2 p.m., we're talking 20 mile per hour winds, 30 mile per hour wind gusts, 6 p.m. continuing to 20 mile per hour sustained winds as well, and that continues through the day on Sunday too. Here's some of those future wind chills. This is what we all want to see because this is what it actually feels like on our skin when we're outside, right? It'll feel like negative 11 in Forest City as you wake up on tomorrow morning, negative 10 in Montrose, zero in Danville, one in Sealands Grove, and negative five there in State College. This is around five o'clock, feeling like negative 13 in Forest City, feeling like 20 well, negative 12 there in Mount Pocono and negative three in Frackville. It will be very cold. Please do make sure you bundle up. And with this freezing that we have, you could expect any of that slush that's out on the roadways to freeze as well. So please do be careful if you're headed out anywhere tomorrow in the morning, in the afternoon. We will have temperatures that will be in the teens and single digits, so it will definitely cause some slick spots on the road. So just take it slower than you normally would. Sunday, still feeling very cold out there, a little bit warmer than Saturday, but feeling like negative four in Forest City and feeling like 11 in Scranton. Wanted to point out the last coldest temperature we had was on Wednesday. That was 20 degrees as a high, and I'm forecasting 18. So this will be the coldest high temperature we've seen so far this season. Just a few tips for you. Just to remind you, have a full tank of gas as we have this cold weather. Keep an extra pair of warm clothes in your car, and make sure you drip your faucet too to prevent your pipes from freezing. And always take care of your pups. Make sure they're warm and cozy too. Here's your seven day forecast. Blustery and frigid for tomorrow. Make sure you bundle up. A few snow showers possible in the afternoon, just for a few of us. 18 degrees is a high. But Scott, there is a silver lining in the forecast. Take a look at Monday. Temperatures above freezing once again. And then as we go towards next week, temperatures back up in the 40s, rebounding to near 50. But we do have rain showers on the way. So we'll, as Kurt said earlier, trade out the snow shovel for an umbrella. I'll make that trade any day of the week and <laughs> twice on Sunday. All right. See you tonight, Jeremy. <laughs> See Thanks. You later.